again, we're still wanting to factor this. So I notice there are four terms. So that's an even number of terms. So what if I try to group these now and factor in that manner? So let's group the first two and the last two. So I'd put x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2x. Now make sure you make this a plus over here on the right because I put a negative out in front so I have to have to do a negative times a positive would give me a negative for the answer above. So if I look at the first one, the smallest number of x's, I've got 3 and 2, so I've got x squared times x plus 5 minus, the only thing in common over here is a 2, and I've got x plus 5. Now, how do you know if you're on the right track? You're on the right track if you have a factor that's in common to both. And I see that each one of these has an x plus 5. So now I'm going in the right direction. So I'm going to rewrite the, com the common factor. And then I'm going to rewrite everything that's left over. And that's your final answer.